Yeah. Okay, guys. Hey, um, today what we're going to be talking about is should I use hot rollers or should I use uh, thermal curling iron? Now, the thing about being in the salon, and I'll show you in a minute with the other mannequin, on the proper use of the curling iron, but when you're doing it yourself, you can't. If someone is doing it for you that knows how to do it, it becomes a correct method uh, for, for the safety of your hair. But the one thing about hot rollers, I've got a set right here. Um, they're going to reach the same temperature as an iron. They're going to go up to 240 degrees. I mean, I, I don't want to just touch them right now because it's hot. I can feel the heat coming out. What I'm going to do with this mannequin, I'm going to... I'm going to put the hot rollers on and then I'm going to set her aside and bring another mannequin up and use the thermal iron on her. What I want you to see with the hot rollers, they're going to reach 240 degrees in heat. But when you put them on the hair, they're going to then cool off. The thing about the curling iron, it's going to reach 240 degree, and when you put it on the hair at room temperature, it stays that hot, so therefore gets slightly hotter to maintain and hold the heat. So when you start on the ends and bring it up and then touch it to see if it's ready, those ends have had that constant heat on them from the beginning. So my thing is and and before the end of this video you see my hair is straight okay at the end of this video what i'm going to do your phone's ringing so you need to touch your wrist or whatever my husband's got that little wrist thing on his phone so he can turn it off but anyways all right so um with the hot rollers it's going to reach that same heat i'm going to curl them both exactly the same and i want you to see that, uh, that pretty much it's going to look the same. It's not going to look different. It's going to hold the curl. And when I come back, I'm going to have my hot rollers that I put on every day on my head. So please try not to laugh because it does look goofy. But the point is, it's better for my hair. All right. So I'm going to start right here at the frontal fringe. And I'm doing it sideways just basically so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to pull it forward because I want all these hot rollers to be on base. Now, I'm going to share something with you. My hot rollers, and I love these because, see, I'll take them off. It's got the little handle. And uh, some of them come with pins. Throw the pins away and just get butterfly clamps. So I'm just going to do like, just almost like a nine section. Um, perm wrap type of set. It's called a bubble set. It can be done on any length hair. Uh, I'm going to do it on this just basically because uh, I, it makes it simple. We're not doing any particular design. I want you to see that it's going to work. And uh, I mean, I can do it. I use hot rollers on my hair pretty much every day. No reason not to. And you can see how quick this is. See, I hold the end of it. And there's a variety of hot rollers. And I'll be honest with you. People will buy these. They don't know how to use them. So they donate them to the Goodwill or to other thrift stores. Which is pretty much when I teach my students, that's where I've purchased mine. And this is a really nice set. I don't know why anyone would get rid of this set because it's really nice. But the variety of sizes that you can get, the variety of um, colors, all of that. So all I'm doing, as you can see, I'm going to make sure that stays up. hate it when things fall apart when you're trying to teach. Okay, so I'm just taking it, making sure the ends are secure in there, and just bringing it down. And you can see that it, the ends, the edges, are not so hot that I can't hold them. Uh, I don't know how they do that, but they do it. So I'm bringing it around and just basically doing a nine section. What I'm going to do after this, 
Now, what I, what I do when I put on my hot rollers, um, once I'm done putting them on, now I try and use smaller sizes on the shorter hair. You see this hair was longer, so I'm going to use, get one of the smaller sized ones and uh, use that on the shorter hair under, underneath here. So, all right, so there's that one section. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now, I will start the thermal curling, but how long has this taken me? Um, time it. Pause me, put me back on, and time to see how long it takes to put these on. And you'll see that it doesn't take any longer and uh, if you clamp them with this, a lot of people get rid of their hot rollers because of the pins. The pins fall out. You put your head down, the pin will fall out. And uh, the roller will fall out and it drives you crazy. So what you do is, um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna have a little bit of a variety here because I'm running out of the big ones. But uh, what you're gonna do, and what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna give it, um, spiral effect. I'm going to take it this time and spiral it forward. So you can take these hot rollers in any direction that you want, but you see they stay on. With the pins, if I did that, it would fall right off. So I'm going to do this other side. You see that it's not taking me. I don't want this mannequin to fall because this thing is not very steady. And she's starting to get a little wavy with these, yep, with these hot rollers. I might have to put a towel there when I come back. All right, and I'm going to bring this one down. And I'm just going to take two. Look, at, I want you to see the size of this section here. So I'm going to take two of them and I'm gonna bring them forward. I'm gonna spiral them forward. And what I might have to do, let me do something here because I'm concerned about this falling down. There's my other mannequin. Let me bring this stand over here. There you go. Can you see that cameraman? Did I move it up too far? Mm -hmm. I wanna make sure you get it. Because, um, yeah, that stand wasn't working. Okay, so um, I needed to put a towel or something on it. So I'm going to take this one, and I'm just going to bring it again, spiral it forward. And uh, you can see that that's pretty long hair there. But I'll tell you what, as it's curling, it's cooling down. By hugging it with these clamps, what it does is it secures the heat within, and that's another reason for the butterfly clamps. And you'll see mine when we come back. I mean, well, we're not going to leave just yet. But you'll see mine. I'm going to take it over to the other side. See, this one's trying to come off, so I'm going to just tuck it in there again. But look at that curl. It's already there. This has just been not even just, I mean, it's very few minutes. Eight. Eight minutes? Eight minutes to do this. How long does it take you to put on your hot rollers? I mean, uh, your thermal iron when you're doing that. How long are you standing in front of that mirror when you can just slap these on? And I've got my thermal iron heated up. So yeah, I'm just bringing it in. And see, this is something you can just curl it yourself. You don't have to worry about moving your head off to the side and this one again, I'm going to spiral it forward. So this length here, to put it close to the hair. Now, do you always have to bring it to the scalp? No, not if you just want end curls. If you've got long hair, and again, I'm going to turn this around so you can see I'm going to make these two coming forward. I'm going to spiral them forward. And, uh, but yeah, check out the thrift stores. Unless you want to spend 40 or 50 bucks for a brand new set that someone has never used. And you can tell if they've been used. Believe me, you can tell. 
there is going to be no doubt in your mind that they are used. But like when you have a shorter piece like that, just bring that end in and kind of curl it in there. Oops. Let's do it again. There you go. Curl it in there to attach. Bring it forward. And I'm going to move this over. Now I'm going to start my thermal curling. I'm going to move this over, start my thermal curling, and then I'm going to bring it back to show you. Now at this point, you don't have to follow the camera, it's all right. At this point, um, I'm going to bring this mannequin, and look at that. See, I had her clipped up, so she's a mess. So was the other one. And all I did was comb it in there. So now I'm going to take this one and use my thermo iron, and I'm going to use it probably the way you would use it. Uh, you'd probably just use it on the ends, or you would use it and just leave it. Okay, so I want to bring that close. Bring it close like this. Take my thermal iron. Now there is a proper method in using this iron. Okay, bring it out. Bring it to the ends. Bring it in. Now you're going to put a comb under there. It's going to burn your scalp. So I'm going to wait now. I'm going to wait. I'm waiting. Is it hot enough? Okay, I'm going to click out. Okay, so I've got my curl in there. So I'm going to get this curl and I'm going to clip it in. I just want you to see the time that it's taking me to do this. Clip it in. Right there. So now I've got my curl. I'm doing the exact same thing. Move the hair out of the way. Get that part in there so that it doesn't split on me, but I think it's going to anyways because that part is definitely in there. So again, do it like you would do it. Bring it out to the ends. Bring it in. Put a comb under there. Or you probably wouldn't even take it to the scalp, would you? Because it's going to burn your scalp. So I'll do the same thing you would do at home. You're kind of just holding it there, waiting for it to call, curl, and, and uh, you want to touch it to see if it's ready. And what's happening with those ends? Those ends are screaming right now because this iron is at 200 Actually, it's, uh, let me see, 430. So it's hot. I'm going to click it out. And normally you would just take it out. And then you would take it, possibly take it, and curl it in to hold that curl uh, so you didn't mess it up touching anything else. Okay, so here's another one. All right. Take it in. Bring the iron over, pick it up, squeeze it on the bottom, bring it out, curl it, bring it down, hold it, hold it, hold it till it gets hot. So how long is this taking me, waiting for this to heat up? 13. What, what's, what's your time factor as far as you've got to get to work, you've got to take care of the kids, um, I mean, what is your time worth to you? And then some of you have got, you know, you've got color, you've got lightener on your hair, you've taken it to so many different areas of damage, but yet, okay, that one's there. I'm going to clip it in, and maybe you don't clip it in, maybe you just leave it. And some of us do, some of us just leave it, but I'm clipping it in just to get it out of the way. Okay, so still traveling down, and how far have I gotten? I've, I did a full head with the hot rollers in eight minutes, and it's already 13 minutes, so we're almost more than halfway done with, the, with um, as far as our time factor, but we're not near halfway done as far as finishing or curling the hair. We've just barely got the top done, yet I did a full head, in eight minutes. So how much time have we taken with this cameraman? 
Another six, seven. So another seven minutes or beyond the eight? All right, so here we are, what, almost at 14, 15 minutes with it not even finished. So I will be finishing this, but what I want to show you before I do it, because I do want to show you the result. I do want to give you a result as far as what happens when we curl both. What happens when we take it and either use hot rollers, and I'm using the exact same, I've got a tangle here. Mildred, stop complaining, it hurts, I know. Um, she's very tender-headed. Um, anyways, keep going, bring it out to the ends just like you would at home, bring it to the center, you're not in a salon, and this is giving me problems, it would give you problems too. All right, so I'm gonna take it, and I'm just gonna start turning it, and I'm doing it now professionally, feeding it in. Oh, come on, Mildred. All right. <laughs> and you may have the same problem. I'm trying to do it like you do it, not just feed it in like I would do it in the salon. Okay, there you go. Hold it. And we've got to wait till it's hot enough. Again, how much time is this taking? So what I'm going to do is we're going to log off. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. You're going to see that the set is exactly the same, all right? But look at the time that it's taking, and it's going to take more time back here because what are you going to do with the curling iron? You're trying to reach, you're trying to feel, you're trying to do it. Um, it just takes much more time and so much more damaging to your hair. So much more damaging. So we're going to click off for a little bit. When we come back, you're going to see my hot rollers on my head. Um, but you know what I want to do first? I'm debating because I know that I could take those hot rollers off right now and it's ready, totally ready. So I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave it. But understand that when I do my hot rollers on my head, I'll usually leave them on. I'll go make the bed. I'll put my makeup on. I'm not tied up with my hands up in my and up in the air. I'm doing other things. My hot rollers are doing their work. I don't have to be a slave to the curling iron. So we're going to cut off because this is going to take some time to finish. It's going to take at least 30, 40 minutes, depending on the length of your hair, what you do with it. There's methods, yes, there's really cool methods that you can do with longer hair. And I'm going to demonstrate some of those with the curling iron, but I also want to demonstrate some of those later with the hot rollers. But basically what I want you to see now is the fact that how much longer it's taken me, and I'm not even near done to do a full head. Hot rollers are just so much better. You have to get butterfly clamps. It's recommended. Let me show you what those are. If you don't know what they are, they're these here. And uh, get rid of the pins. If you buy it at a thrift store, if you buy it in you, it doesn't matter. All of mine have been bought at thrift stores because I teach with them. I teach my students how to use them. Um, and I've got a variety of sizes and stuff because so many of my students have waist length hair So they just use it on their ends just for curl, but it's so much simpler You can get dressed you can make your bed You can go eat breakfast if anybody can stand to look at you You'll see what I'm going to say in just a few minutes when you see me with my little conglomerated hot rollers on my head But yeah, you want to get some butterfly clamps because that's what's going to hold the hot roller on all right, so we'll be back in just a little bit. You won't be able to tell. All right, take it. Just go. Okay, so um, how do I look? What do you guys think? I just now put them on. They're already starting to cool off. Now, we know these have cooled off. Now, you can see with the thermal iron, I'm going to put this in front. I did the exact same set, but how much longer did it take? They're both totally cooled off. This was cooled off within a few minutes. Um, I love this set. 
It's a nice variety. It's great for long hair. Again, like I said, you could um, shop around. See what you can find. What size is your curling iron? Because your curling iron will tell you what size hot rollers you need to get. And uh, look at this curl. I mean, it's in there. See, it's bouncy. It's in there. There is no doubt about it that this hair, I'm going to pull it out, and you'll see that it curls right back in. Um, it's not going to be a problem. So, uh, and again, these little spiral curls right here, they're right in there. No worries. And how long is it taking me to take these down? I just put them up, went out, and like I told you, I just now did my own hair. So what I'm going to do, before I comb these out, see it, the curls are right in there, no problems. It's nice, solid in there. I'm going to take these down, then I'm going to take mine down, and um, I'll start brushing both of these out and you'll see me just kind of smooth my hair back and it's going to do what it does. Sometimes we have to do foolish little things like this to show you. Some people are too proud to do that. I'm not here to impress you. As I've said before, I'm here to teach you. And if I can teach you simpler ways, if I can teach you how to keep your hair healthier, if I can teach you safer methods for your hair, then I've done my job. And uh, yeah, curling irons, extremely popular because people refuse to, to change. And there's nothing wrong with a curling iron, I'll be honest with you. I mean, for little touch-ups if you want, uh, but you could also heat up your hot rollers for little touch-ups if you want. But I'm gonna I'm curling this back in because I want you to see. I'm gonna turn it around for you to see that it's the exact same thing as the curling iron. We didn't do anything different. It's a little bit bigger curl because these are a little bigger. These are a little bigger than my uh, thermo iron. The smaller ones are about the same size. They call it nickel size, quarter size. Believe it or not, those are the professional terms for them. So see, now that set has been put away. And I'll be honest with you, I redid the front because it wasn't accurate. So I'm not here to, like I said, tease you or give you false information. So when I left, I saw that that was still a little split and you can see that that kind of curved it a bit. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to set this right there. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to take the clippies out. Take all the clippies out. You may or may not put clips in when you do it. Um, it just does, it keeps it in place, cools into, into place. Now remember, I want you to take note, I'm not just sitting around holding the iron to my head. I've got my hot rollers in my head and I'm doing something else. So I'm going to take all these clips out, and then I'm going to take my hot rollers out. They have definitely, they could, I could have taken them out when I came in here, right after walking in here, my husband was trying to put a, a not a shelf, but a hanging thing up for me, and so I waited a few minutes and finally said, let's go finish that video. He's my cameraman, you guys know that. So, okay, I've got a couple more clips here. Again, this took me a good 30 minutes by itself. The hot rollers took me eight minutes. Putting on my own hot rollers, I'm gonna take them down, and you can see that some of mine are smaller because of my shorter hair. So I'm gonna set these in here for now. I want you to see they're ready and I did a whole bunch of other stuff I um, have a breakfast thing that we make and it's just made in the blender so I did that with my hot rollers on 
you're not a slave. If you have time and you want to spend time with that iron, but keep in mind, when you do it at home, most of you take it and start from the ends and come up. The only thing that doesn't do that is when you use the wand. And that kind of forces you to put that end in there last. Your ends are the weakest part of your hair. Okay, do I have them all off? See, just a few minutes. How much longer did it take me to find all the clips in that? All right. I'm going to take my vent brush. I'm just going to brush it all back. Just brush it all back. I have no idea what it looks like right now because I don't have a mirror in front of me. But I had these going back because I wanted to go back. So let me get my mirror. And I love these. I got these from Krebs. K-R-E-M-B-S. Sorry, got my husband in there. Yeah, not bad. Okay, just kind of clean it up a bit. But you see, that's all it took. It just depends on what you want your time to be. We're probably going to get about the same effect on both sets. This is going to come forward like we curled it. See, that's coming forward. The other one may be a little bit softer. If you get splits like that, remember you never tease it there. You just kind of ruffle it underneath and see how that separate, that took care of that. Uh, you see the top where it's kind of split a little bit? I'm going to comb it down. Go underneath it, ruffle it a bit, gets rid of it. Comb it forward, ruffle it a bit right there, and that gets rid of that. Ruffle it on the inside, not outside. And that helps get rid of all that. I'm just gonna comb this back. But you can see that that, this comes forward. A lot of movement, a lot of curl. Let me get rid of that split, and I'm doing it with the brush. There you go. It's quite, it's quite a split, quite a split, as you can see it. I'm not going to hide it from you. Quite a split. So, the other one didn't have it. I didn't part it out as much. So, got rid of most of it. You can still kind of see it right there. But, anyways. This mannequin was pretty short on top, so basically I wanted to show you the same set. I'm going to take her off to the side. Let's just take that off to the side there. There you go. Come on, hair. There you go. So she's fluffy. We're going to call her fluffy. Bring it up a little bit here. But the hot rollers, this is the curling iron. And I couldn't get rid of that split with the curling iron. But you can see that the movement is pretty much the same. This is coming forward. You have that volume there. Now, I'm going to get my other mannequin. And keep in mind, this one is larger. I used larger rollers. That one was smaller with my curling iron. Just trying to fluff that up for you so that it stays. Okay, but they both had the 180 haircut. So that's why I used these two mannequins. So again, larger, but you still have curl memory. Bring this forward. Bring this forward. Much nicer curl. Nice movement. And this is what happens when you use, like if you were to use a larger curling iron. Okay, this comes forward. This is going to go back. And off to the side, kind of like the other one. This is a little bit longer. This one was shorter. So off to the side a bit. But again, this comes forward. It's forward on either side. This is your hot rollers, 
I'm going to shake it because I want you to see that there is some curl membrane there. There is some movement in there. This part of the head on this one was a little bit longer. The same part of the head on the other one, I still see this little movement here, but basically what I want you to get from this is what you can do with hot rollers. I could have taken this to the side and it would, it would be better. Um, but I wanted to do the same set on both. There's movement. Uh, all you have to do is scrunch this. Larger roller, larger curl. See, I'm scrunching it and that curl memory is coming in. Does it look a little messy? Yeah, the messy look is definitely in right now. Is it going to go out? Yes, it will. But the main thing is hairstyling is coming back. Hairstyling is, it, it, I mean, everybody's had it straight for so long or very short. And then all these hair colors, short hair is going to be back real quick. With uh, the blues, the purples, the pinks. They're having to fry the hair to get it there. So once this phases out, short hair is going to be a big thing. And I'm predicting that just basically because I'm seeing it. But the same thing here. You are going to get, what? Curl memory. This hair is a little bit shorter. So the curl memory is there. Even though it was done exactly the same way, it's a smaller curl. So therefore that curl memory is there. And see this, even this wants to kind of go off to the side just like the other one. But this is coming forward. And how long did it take me to do this? I could have done it separate. I could have done smaller, you know, um, the thermal iron on the other one. Practice if you want. If you have mannequins, practice on the different lanes. But look at your time. My time is precious. I want to enjoy every minute of every day and sitting there working on my hair is not going to do it for me because what do we do at night? We go to bed. Then you have to do it again the next day. You know what's nice about this? Sometimes all I do is scrunch it. I mean, I don't sleep like an egg beater at night, so I kind of stay in one position pretty much. But um, you can see the difference. Uh, are these attractive? Well, straight hair is in curly hair is not so this is pretty tight right here with the curling iron a little bit softer but then bigger rollers those are the realities of the two all right so um, I hope you got something from this the hot rollers you see the smaller ones on me look at how much curl I got from the smaller ones I mean I can scrunch this and it'll give me more curl so you saw how straight my hair was, and it took me all of about, well, I do it every day, so it took me all of about three minutes to do it, which is not a long time. Then I went and fixed up our little bit of an oatmeal breakfast thing, watched my husband for a little bit, then we came out here. That was it. I didn't spend all that time twisting my wrist. Take care, guys. God bless. I hope you got something out of this. See you again.